a role model that inspired generations, making so many people fall in love with basketball. He unleashed his full potential and is an example of success, action, and ambition. There's so much this man can teach us. You need many qualities and skills to become a basketball GOAT, but even more crucial is a powerful mindset needed to stay at the top of a career and keep a fortune. Michael Jordan is a basketball legend, but he's more than just an athlete. Despite being evident at the big bucks, Jordan makes $100 million yearly in Nike. MJ's net worth is $1.9 billion, and his fortune comprises numerous categories of personal assets outside the usual corporate payouts. Never placing your eggs in one basket is the main idea behind his success, and some of Jordan's detailed assets might surprise even dedicated fans. Welcome to Insight Booth. Today, I'm sharing some valuable lessons we can all learn from Michael Jordan. One, don't be scared to try. I can accept failure, but I can't accept not trying. We don't know the result and may never know unless we try. We can give ourselves 101 reasons why it won't work, but none matter if we don't try. Face it, there will always be obstacles in the journey towards our goals. Just don't let them stop you from taking the first step. Barriers are meant to be conquered. The simple life lesson is nothing will ever happen if you don't do something about it. The best way is to try. Action breeds action. If you keep initiative and are consistent in what you do, you'll succeed. Two, trust the game. Be true to the game because the game will be faithful to you. If you try to shortcut the game, then the game will shortcut you. If you put forth the effort, good things will be bestowed upon you. Michael Jordan always believed that he would get out of the game exactly what he put into it. If you don't wholly trust the game, if you think it's unfair or rigged, then deep down, you're not going to feel motivated to give it everything you have. With the loser attitude, you've lost before you even begin. Whether it's life, business, or basketball, you get out what you put in. But if you do the work, you get rewarded. There are no shortcuts in life. Three, leave fear behind. I know fear is an obstacle for some people, but it's an illusion to me. Jordan quickly realized that fear is an illusion, giving him the freedom to try harder and dream bigger. Fear of failure is a huge obstacle on the way to success, but it's all in your head. We human beings are so fearful of failure that it stops us from acting. However, the funny thing is that we are doomed to failure if we do not take action. We must realize the only barriers are the ones we set for ourselves, and here the border is the illusion of fear. Four, focus on finding a solution. If you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them, everybody has had them, but obstacles don't have to stop you. Don't turn around and give up if you run into a wall. Figure out how to climb, go through or work around it. Don't waste your energy and time panicking when you hit a roadblock. Take a moment to chill and find a solution. It always exists. Don't let the moment's weight drag you down. Instead, use this to be firm. Remember why you need to win and let it motivate you to achieve what matters the most, your dream. Five, master the fundamentals. You can practice shooting eight hours a day, but if your technique is wrong, then all you become is very good at shooting the wrong way. Get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. Basketball is like everything in this world. It mostly comes down to doing all the basic stuff right. Once the fundamentals are down, you have a sturdy foundation to build. Jordan also warns, when you get away from fundamentals, the bottom can fall out of your game, your schoolwork, your job, whatever you're doing. Six, attitude is everything. Always turn a negative situation into a positive situation. We've all heard about the power of staying positive, but some forget to apply it. And not just in negative situations, but in life as well. Positivity plays a considerable role in determining how much further we will go in pursuing our ambitions. Seven, learn from your parents. You might expect Michael's boyhood heroes to be NBA GOATs like Jerry West and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Not really. My heroes are and were my parents. I can't see having anyone else as my heroes. Jordan's respect and admiration for his parents are one of the keys to his success. Eight, don't let people get in your head. It's always heavy duty to try to do everything and please everybody. I can't live with everyone's impression of what I should or shouldn't do. Jordan was getting a lot of attention during his rookie year. Sports Illustrated put him on the cover of their magazine, writing, a star is born, just one month into his NBA career. All that quick attention triggered a few NBA veterans. They decided to execute a freeze out of Jordan during the All-Star game and didn't pass him the ball. But Jordan was calm. When the regular season resumed, he performed a stellar play and won Rookie of the Year. Jordan proves that you don't have to let other people get into your head. Nine, play business like a game. Just play, have fun, enjoy the game. You may believe the game Michael's talking about is basketball, but he's advising on the game of business. If you think business is boring, you're doing it wrong. The more fun you have doing your work, the more energy and enthusiasm you'll bring to it, and the more success you'll find. 10. Stay focused. The game has its ups and downs, but you can never lose focus of your individual goals, and you can't let yourself be beaten because of lack of effort. 
There are so many distractions in life, both negative, such as undesirable work and family duties, and positive, Netflix and chill. Things weren't any different for Michael Jordan. He also had to deal with failures, other people's opinions, his problems, team members, what the media said about him, fame, and many other things unknown to regular people. Still, he never stopped being concentrated on his goals. Michael kept his vision, stayed true to his beliefs, and never let anything around him get to his mind or heart. 11. Know how to respond to failure. Failure makes my work even more complicated. Jordan wasn't always a winner. Can you even believe it? The first debut in the NBA playoffs and his team got knocked out in the first round. The following two years, they were swept by the Boston Celtics. After that, the Bulls were beaten by the Detroit Pistons three years in a row. At some point, all Michael Jordan knew was a failure, but it only made him stronger and want to be better. He said, everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I've been entrusted to take the game-winning shot and missed, and I have failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Failure makes people want to give up, but it had the opposite effect on Jordan. Consider failures as fuel to work harder, and life will become much easier. 12. Put in the work. I'm not out there sweating for three hours every day just to find out what it feels like to sweat. No successful people in the world don't put in hard work to achieve what they have today. To collect your harvest, you must put in the effort to sow first. That's the law of nature. If we want to achieve something, we must put in the hard work, and the results will come. Be tenacious and improve every single day. 13. When it's time to change, change. Jordan made one of the most surprising decisions in sports history. He retired from professional basketball at his peak. It's hard to understand why someone would quit after winning three championships in a row. Well, Michael's reasons were straightforward. I just needed to change. I was getting tired of the same old activity and routine, and I didn't feel all the same appreciation that I felt before, and it was tiresome. Many things correlated with my father dying, the opportunity to play baseball, and my desire to make a change. I looked back on it. It was perfect timing to break away from it and see what I was missing, what it meant, and the enjoyment I got from the game. Even though Jordan failed in baseball, he needed to listen to the voice in his head telling him to make a change. He returned to the NBA refreshed in 1995 and won three more championships immediately. 14. You can't do it alone. If you think and achieve as a team, the individual accolades will take care of themselves. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence win championships. Jordan is arguably the most outstanding player, but he did not win six championships alone. Jordan had a Hall of Fame teammate, Scottie Pippen. What if Michael Jordan didn't have such a colleague? Individual effort is essential, but teamwork makes the dream work. A great leader can make the sum of the whole more significant than the sum of the parts, and that's when a collective reaches its full potential. But what did you learn from Michael Jordan? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.